All right, this is a quick video in response to Barikai Rules as community post talking about him leaving YouTube. And I totally understand why he didn't make a fucking video for it, as that would require some effort. Unfortunately, even unedited videos require some effort. So, he was in the right to make a community post such so that takes a lot quicker. Now listen, I'm going to tell you this. I was a huge fan of yours back when you were very active. In fact, you used to be one of my favorite animation reviewers. What I liked about you the most is just how fucking optimistic you were. You bring up in the community post how you were very negative. Maybe you have forgotten that you were very optimistic, but I haven't. That's what I respected about you. Yeah. Honestly, regarding, you know what I could address some of the points you made in the fucking community post. And by address, I do not mean to argue with all of them. There is such thing as addressing something in a positive way, and that is when I agree with what you said. And I do agree with some of your points here. First, your point about not wanting to share your opinion publicly because the of how hostile the internet gets. Listen, there are going to be some toxic assholes out there on the internet. That's inevitable. But the best thing you can do is you just ignore those people. And block them if they go too far. That's what I do. They aren't even remotely worth thinking about. Now there is one thing that you said in your community post which I strongly agree with. It's very fucking sad when we find out that someone is a paraphile. And unfortunately, that is not just a thing with the animation fan community on YouTube. Kevin Spacey, who is one of my favorite actors, was revealed to be a paraphile. And when I found that out, I just wanted him to go to fucking jail. The fact that Hollywood lets people roam out free that are confirmed paraphiles, and it's not just the case with Kevin Spacey, it's the case for many others, but I won't be getting too into it, as I don't want this video to be too serious. Hollywood does fucking nothing about those that are proven paraphiles. And yeah, this applies to a lot of YouTubers as well. They never get suspended despite confirming to be paraphiles. That really sucks. And I totally understand you not wanting to associate with a fucking platform like that. I personally think those people should be suspended. The fact that they aren't just shows that the people running the site are incompetent morons. People who call these people out are more likely to be suspended than the actual pedophiles, and that is very messed up. But enough for that. I am not going to say any more on that subject, says it's too serious. Honestly, I totally get your point on struggling with editing. Although I am at the opinion that editing is the most fun part of the video making progress. I can definitely say that editing is still very fucking hard. I don't find the editing itself to be hard personally. But having to do retakes, man, that's very fucking hard. Video often takes 
several fucking days or maybe even weeks or months to make because I screwed up so much that I have to do a lot of fucking retakes. That has happened more times than I can count. That is the most annoying part of video making, not necessarily the editing itself, but having to do fucking retakes. So I totally understand you not wanting to do make videos anymore. I totally get it. Making videos is hard, and like I said before, even making unedited videos is hard. Because when we make unedited videos, people can't see more easily that you screw up. There are a few people who shoot sticks, hacks and hammer who can make unedited videos without screwing up once. But most people can't. Though I personally am getting better at it. So yeah. Pie guy rules. I want to say some final words. Fucking thank you for the entertainment you brought us over the years. And I hope you won't end up deleting your old fucking videos. If you do, that's fine. I respect your decisions. But I personally am against videos period being deleted because I want to be able to rewatch videos which I like. I mean, if you do end up deleting them, it won't matter to be too, but such you are one of my favorite animation reviewers anymore, even though you used to be. Very do or do not, it's your fucking decision. But I'm just saying that I hope that you don't delete them. But if you do, I still respect your decision. Yeah. You're a great fucking guy and Good luck with whatever the hell you choose to do after you left YouTube. I know it's none of my business as what you do in your personal life is private, but whatever you decide to do with your life, good fucking luck, man. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.